when we started, uh, basically we, we started by selling one cylinder of 13 kilogram in a month. It was not so easy. Uh, you get outside there, people say, but uh, uh, we don't know this gas, where are you coming from, where do you package? At one moment somebody said, are you the ones who are producing this uh, tear gas in town? So you can see that uh, people try to put a lot of things uh, together about what we are doing outside there. This week on The Entrepreneur, we bring you a story of how Emi Wasira has successfully managed to venture into a business of liquefied petroleum gas, or otherwise known as LPG. Often, you would find this particular highly frameable product at major fuel service stations across the country. Uh, we deal in liquefied petroleum gas. Liquefied is LPG and locally in Uganda is called the cooking gas. So uh, basically um, our niche is uh, we, we deal with both urban, peri-urban and rural markets. LPG uh, which is liquefied petroleum gas, uh, we import it from Kenya. Um, it is our main hub but it can also be imported from Tanzania, uh, from Zambia, and from Dubai. So it comes in either 10 metric ton, which is 10,000 kilogram, or 20,000 kilogram uh, tanks. Even then, not so many people, be it in Uganda and beyond within sub Saharan Africa, know of the hazards associated with using traditional wood as fuel. I found out that in this 21st century for you, why should we still continue using traditional fuels? There is something which we can use next. Let's say, for example, I've just told you, uh, LPG, liquefied petroleum gas, is a modern, we can call it in Uganda or in Africa, modern fuel, but it is a fuel which was discovered in 1902. And people in Europe and in America, they have found it as something which can address the need uh, for replacing traditional fuels. Wasira, who is a health expert by training, says finding a solution to these hazards informed his decision to venture into this business, whose products are on high demand. Uh, when you are using traditional fuels from either charcoal or firewood, uh, charcoal and firewood, they don't undergo complete combustion. And uh, that means that they are uh, carbon fumes which come out of it and uh, such carbon fumes include uh, black carbon. It is the one which causes issues. When it goes down into the lungs of children, uh, up to the last bit of the lung, and when it goes there, it, it lodges inside there, then the white blood cells come and, uh, and start feasting on it, and of course the child starts suffering from pneumonia. But considering the highly inflammable properties of LPG and the traditional wood fuel, Wasira shares the probable middle ground. Uh, when we started, uh, basically we, we started by selling one cylinder of 13 kilogram in a month, it was not so easy. Uh, you get outside there, people say, but uh, uh, we don't know this gas. Where are you coming from? Where do you package? At one moment, somebody said, are you the ones who are producing this uh, tear gas in town? <clears throat> so you can see that uh, people try to put a lot of things uh, together about what you are doing outside there. We worked hard uh, for about 10 years. We got uh, savings, myself with my wife. Uh, and we started the business. Then we released the equity in the property which we had just built. Uh, we got working capital from that. We worked along the way for about uh, four years before we got our first investor coming to support us with the investment in the business. Nevertheless, how was the start for Asira in this equally capital intensive business? You can find that LPG reduces on deforestation uh, when you go outside there to Nema or anywhere where there is research, they will tell you that in the next 30 to 40 years, if nothing is done in Uganda, we are going to become a green desert, whereby uh, very many people are using firewood and charcoal for cooking, and of course it has even gone down, it is no longer there. So when you have this, it means that uh, we shall be saving on the environment as well. This entrepreneur with a bias toward social responsibility also fears that the perpetual huge demand for wood fuel will in the near future badly affect Uganda's green cover. Slandering uh, from the bigger markets, uh, trying to see that we get out of market just because they think uh, our gas is not enough, uh, we, we feel less and they are the ones who feel more. 
So such is a big challenge and with lack of uh, a regulatory authority, that remains one of our biggest problems, that uh, there is nowhere where you can run to. You can't go anywhere and say, listen, uh, how do I deal with slandering people who are slandering against my business? So you are left outside there to, to hang and dry uh, without any support. However, Wasira's business too is distant to various challenges facing enterprises. He points out that lack of legislation as the most pressing problem today. Oh my goodness, uh, remember right now, uh, we import Ke uh, gas from Kenya, from Dubai, from Tanzania, from Zambia, from all these places. Transport costs only have an impact on the cost uh, the last consumer has to pay before he can access the product. Um, also the international prices themselves, the delays of the gas coming to Uganda. Why do people keep on switching from traditional fuels to gas then back to traditional fuels? It's just because we don't have enough gas in the country, lack of storage facilities. Yet again, price movements of liquefied gas are unpredictable and sometimes leave consumers with no choice but consider a purchase. But why this price fluctuation? And in so doing, you need to have a couple of people around yourself. I think uh, something which I didn't understand before was putting together what we call a board of directors, having other people who can help you in thinking, in marketing, in finance. Uh, sometimes you can sit down and think that you are, after all, I'm the owner of the business, who cares? You start spending as you so wish. For Asira, upholding a set of principles has also enabled his business to keep afloat. And with the market still virgin, he also says this business is highly profitable. Uh, if you think you believe in the business, you believe in what you are doing, you are innovative, you have the marketing strategy, you have the plan, there is everything which can enable you to go outside there and do anything. Like in, in LPG, I would like to call everybody to say, LPG has margins which are above the average in the country. You can make a profit of about 34 to 35%. Changing the lives of people around him through employment is part of the wider growth path that keeps Wasira. We, we employ uh, 13 uh, permanent staff. Uh, we also have uh, six, uh, we can call them part-time staff, and the six part-time staff are the border border uh, riders. Uh, what we have done is that um, actually we use it as our unique selling proposition. We are the only company again in Uganda who can deliver your gas. With this kind of platform, it minimizes, you know, how circles operate. They open up a, an account with maybe Centenary Bank. Now that's where they deposit their money. Someone has to collect money from a circle office or a circle center and takes the money to Centenary and back it.